Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for coming by the channel once again to see a little bit more Captain Subasa Dream Team here with the homie Nako bringing in this video. Uh, <laughs> I felt like a little, a little bit like a statue there for a little bit. Like, uh, okay, so in this video, I'm gonna bring you uh, an analysis and some polls on my main account. It's gonna include this is gonna be regarding the Super Dream Festival. Right now is June 9th. These characters have been already out for a couple of days. Hopefully, I upload this quickly enough uh, before the banners are gone. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have probably pulled by now, but anyways, I'm still just gonna give you my thoughts on the banners And then I'm gonna pull on one of those and then I will tell you why and then show you some more stuff and blah 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 Okay, in the meantime Let's go in five more days. I get another 10 dream ball. So yeah And then I've been saving this free transfer. This is my last one that I'm gonna pull here Waiting for Hoping for a Naturesa because I'm gonna either pull the Naturesa from here, then I'm talking about the Dream Collection one for the Dribble, and I'm also gonna need the Dream Fest Super Dream Festival Naturesa, the blue one for the overhead kick. I've been hoping and hoping and hoping that I will pull them here so I don't have to from the selectable ones, but no luck. This is the last one. Hopefully here. I'm just really upset with myself because when I think about it, I think we had like another two opportunities where we were able to select one, right? That we wanted. And for some reason, it didn't click then to pull the SDC Naturesa one that I need for the dribble. Like I, sh I had the opportunity. So why like, I wish I had done it before, but I guess I didn't really need to at the time because I didn't have the, the Naturesa that I currently have. And yay, what a terrible card to get for my last pull for the free one. So thanks for nothing. Okay. We have, oh yeah, and then the Germany banner too, which I'm not too down with. Not even these that came back. <clears throat> not even these that came back. Although, I did kind of want that, that volley for Schneider. But at the same time, nah, because I'm not building a European team. So I got to stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. I think in the previous video I did uh, analyze these, so we're gonna go with the. Uh, okay, did I analyze these? Yeah, I should have. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I'm all out of whack, man. All right, let's start off with uh, the German players. Why not? Okay, so we have a new Tiger Brown and two of the Schmidt brothers, but I do not like this banner all that much. The thing with this Tiger Brown, what's cool about him is that he's multi-position. He His stats are really nice here. It's funny that they give him a, a pretty decent shot and power stat here, but I don't think... I'd have to check through the skill points to see if he even has his Raiju shot available. Otherwise, as far as I know, the only card that has it is uh, the, S, the S Raiju shot. The only card that has it is like one of the very first Tiger Browns that came out, and it was from one of the anniversary ones, so he's from a limited transfer. So it's kind of like, uh, kind of whack that you can't get the shot by any other means. This is situational. But a lot of Japanese and Latin American players that are being used right now, so that would be pretty good. Uh, it's nice that he has this 60%. Inside Master is only at 10. This one is interesting, also. It would be good for you if Mueller is your primary goalkeeper, you would get an additional 2% there. We have DC Couts, that would be cool. There are not too many of these two Schmidt brothers that are available to use. And I'm even including these new ones right now. 2% is nice to them, I guess. If you end up pulling on this banner, you get all three of them. Uh, but again, you know, he's he's pretty good in terms of stats, in terms of raw stats. But other than that, you just feel like he's just okay to me. Okay. And then that's the thing. You see, like right now, when it comes to team building, the strongest the strongest archetypes i guess you could say would be the japanese teams if you go all, all japanese or if you try and go south america or latin american teams and that's primarily if if you have santana and you have leo and you have uh that one uh that one roberto right 
because then you get to really boost up that Santana. So there's not too many cards that boost up European players or non-Japanese players. Um, so you'll see primarily Netherlands players boost up Netherlands players and there's very few of them. Swedish players boost up Swedish players and it's usually just Levin, the only one that's really usable. Um, you'll have the German players that just boost up and not even all the German players you saw right now in that one is only boosting up specific German players. So you don't even get that. And only 2% as opposed to, you know, and then look at this one. Okay, you get the German players at 2%, right? That's cool. Finally, something for European players to kind of expand it at one. So if you have German players, you get 3%. If you have other stuff that's <laughs> other European players that are not German, you at least get 1%. So that's something, but I mean, it still doesn't feel that good. And this bond right here, like, what's up with this? On paper, it looked nice at first. Like, oh, all right, a 20% auto intercept. Cool, but then you're going to sacrifice a bond. And, but I mean, a stats up bond. Because there's not, a, if you pick this card for the bond requirement for one of your bond slots, you're only getting the auto intercept. So that means you're going to sacrifice a minimum of 6% to a maximum of 7.5% 7 .7 bond, depending on what, what players you have access to, right? So that's quite significant just to give yourself 20%, and I would not recommend that. Uh, Eric is uh, exactly the same. His twin brother is exactly the same, pretty much. More or less, the stats will be pretty much the same, and I think they have the exact same uh, hidden skills right here, and this one is just support with his twin brother at a fixed rate or 80 percent 80 percent for his brother to appear in a matchup so watch we'll check him out i know we just did this guy but look 19 21 19 18 18 18 18 18 19 21 19 18 18 18 18, 18, 18, 18. right 19 okay 20 19 18 18 18 18 more or less the same like i said more or less 80 percent right here same thing and then hidden skills, same thing. The bond activation, you're gonna miss out on. Uh, is the other one on non-Japanese players too? Well, oh, anyway, you have two percent here for the German players, one percent for the European players, and then the skill block cancel. So they're pretty much ident more or less the same. Okay, more or less the same. So I guess if you're looking to run a European squad, and you're gonna maybe focus on the German players, and you have Mueller. Uh, my timer for the close. Uh, that means that this thingy got stuck. So let me put a pause here and then I'll continue. All right. All right. I'm back. I'm back. So I know that I was in the middle of well, I had just finished up the new Germany players banner and we talked about how they have boost. Well, the two Smith twins, right? They have boost for European players. Oops. At plus one each. And then German players at plus two, right? Uh, and what I talked about is how it's difficult for European teams compared to Latin American teams or Japanese teams or a mixture of those two. Or in some cases, even they benefit from club effects more than a lot of these European players do. Because uh, like, let's say right here, right? These are two SDF units. And they're both club players while being Latin American players. So I'm getting boost from here. I'm getting boost from here. And then I'm getting the boost from here. Because also, and that's the reason why I'm going to end up pulling on this video for Zidane to replace this grandiose because I'm going to go for the pity. So hopefully I don't have to pity him, but that'll give me plus three. And he's a better unit than grandiose. And he has the hotline just like Aoi does. So I would have a, so a more solid, more threatening uh, midfield here. Um, and you see, I even have one like this. This one's rare. Very rarely do we have something that's Brazilian players only, right? Most of the time is something like this, where it's Latin, uh, Latin American players, like right here, right? And the thing with this is that, well, this guy's from uh, Uruguay, this guy's from Brazil, but they're both getting that benefit. 
And again, not too many of them are the European players. As you saw, they're only a plus one. And look at this guy right here. Boom. Easy plus three. Of course, you're getting an easy plus four there. Um, so just those two units alone give you already 7% easy to Latin American players. But the European players don't have that. European players don't have that. The German players have something close to it right now. Close to it because of some of the units that are coming out right now right but a lot of them seem to be focusing on primarily boosting up what many of us assume will be an upcoming schneider right like uh let me go back to these guys right, i think one or two of them or all of them boost up schneider i don't know this one's for all of germany but again you see just germany and that's in that's through inspire and that's only three percent not even five right here you see only schneider not even german players but definitely not european players and this one as well schneider so then it kind of sucks because if you're gonna want to do a european squad then you have to either fully commit to if you want 11 you have to fully commit to 11 and pull just the swedish players to fully boost uh, 11 to like a crazy amount or whatever so he's kind of unstoppable right but again you have to commit to that if you're gonna do the german players and like then you're gonna have to commit to whatever schneider's gonna be coming up so you don't get as much flexibility as you do if you're pulling if you're putting together a latin american squad and uh what's it called or a japanese squad and as you saw right there the most I'm going to be getting there is if I pull the Schmidt brothers to boost up uh, Zeno right here, it'll only be a 2% because of the 1% that they both offer to European players. There's nothing specific to Italy player, uh, to Italian players or anything like that. So it, I, it's very difficult. And that's the thing too. Like Netherlands right here, right? Oh yeah, well, I'm about to, I'm about to get into these guys. So might as well get into it because I just finished the German one right here. And then, so I'm going to go into this one, why I will not be pulling there, and this one, why I will be pulling there. Okay, so on this banner, this Mikael, <laughs> this Michael is supposed to be getting a rework. So, it won't be too bad if you get this one. This one has the defense against the 30% shield to himself to defend yourself against uh, uh, any potential debuff teams that seem to be popping up again. Aoi, which is still a great unit and oh yeah the one that i showed you on my squad i didn't record that one but i pulled them i pulled them on the paid 30 uh the 30 dream balls paid on that banner that guarantees an ssr and i ended up getting them so woo -woo for me okay so yeah he's definitely still very good very usable that aoi so this is not a bad banner to pull on but i already have all three of these units so i don't want to pull on this one and then this brian right here He's very nice in terms of stats. He's not overly powerful. He's not overly boosted. So I'm, I'm happy with K-Lab with how they're kind of keeping the power levels more or less just slightly, slightly going up, allowing us to keep some of these players that we pull on lo a lot longer, especially like even the goalkeepers to see that the goalkeepers are still meta uh, since the last anniversary is pretty awesome. And you see here, Again, inspire only Netherlands players. There are very few. Actually, at the moment, at this present time, there are none other than these two Kluiverts. Other than the Kluiverts. Because none of the other guys. Uh, I think it's Gleisman, Leon Dick, uh, Kurt Geyser, whatever his name is. And then, uh, how could I forget the goalkeeper? Uh whatever his name is but you see they never give us any uh dolman there you go dolman dolman the goalkeeper dolman and i think there's one more that i'm missing because it's supposed to be five of them not just four but anyway there are none of those that are available to be played right now so this would inspire absolutely nobody other than the two current dream festival units that are available at this present time so this feels kind of like a waste I think the inspiration will count towards himself as well. So if he gets by with a dribble range, then okay. And this one, the later on it gets in the match, the more dangerous he becomes. 
he comes with a lot of different good skills so he's cool but again you know i'm not necessarily a huge fan of this uh this becomes a little bit more important if you pull him and his brother and his brother because the brother i see assigns him uh the one two range enhance so if he has access to the dribble range enhance and the one two enhance and the inspiration and the inside master it makes them difficult to guard so yes he's a good unit and yes he's much better if you pull his brother as well which is of course is in a separate band he's not entirely dependent on his brother though because he does have access to a one two that doesn't depend on oh, which is this one instantaneous combination you don't need his brother and you don't need his brother for the shot either so yes you could play him solo but you know his brother pulling his brother makes him even more powerful now keep in mind that there's two separate banners so when you pull on these there's going to be different units that are available through the pool so for example you the ones that you'll see here like that tsubasa and uh aoi and stuff like that you will not find aoi in the in the other banner and also you will not find units such as hey speaking of the netherlands guys there we go oh there you go jovan lensen blink that's the one i was forgetting none of those there's none of those no versions of those players available right now at all um where the fest units at okay so you see in this one you could get Haas and the other one you could get Christensen. And all of these that you see here, like, oh man, it's natureza, I want that natureza. <laughs> okay, you at least get the opportunity to pull Brian's uh, stronger volley. And that's it. His stronger overhead kick is locked behind. Well, I shouldn't say locked, but it's a new uh, next stream unit. I did pull it at one point and I have access to that skill, but at the same time, like, nah, nah, I don't want to pull here. I don't want to pull here. So good luck to you if you decide to pull here. Again, Aoi is probably the one that's worth going to the pity for. It's 1,150 dream balls. Uh, and then hopefully you get Brian along the way in case you decide to do that. Uh, people that continue to say that it's not the seventh anniversary just yet trip me out because again you see this right here seventh anniversary super dream festival it's just things are being done a little differently right now for whatever reason what the reason is i don't know but again we've never had super dream festivals come before and blah 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 and they've been starting to do this before the uh before the anniversary even started so you know it's not something that they're doing exclusively for the for the anniversary so it's just a little yes it's weird it's different but you know, I do believe that we truly are already in the anniversary. And it's also a little odd because we're not starting off with Japanese units like it usually is. But, you know, I mean, they got to try something different. Let them try something different. Let them try something different. So, okay. So, for now, so for this one, we have uh, Stijin, Stein, whatever, however you pronounce his name, S-T-I-J-N. And then we have Sedang, which is the one I'm going to be pulling for. And then these two, which are like whatever. This one, Schneider will have his utility by having them on the bench. Again, in case you see, uh, in case you come across a debuff team, then you know who's coming in for your second half. You're going to need to bring in Schneider. So you have that protection because he has that 30% shield as well. And well, uh, he would be your primary scorer at that time. Then you have Matsuyama, which at this point, even after they reworked him last anniversary and he became usable, he's, still, he's a little outdated again, once again. But his Avert Crisis is still useful. His Direct Hotline and stuff like that is still useful. And he does have Auto Intercept, so he could still fill in a gap, a gap for you if you still don't have a, a squad set up. For me, the main thing is that you saw the, the way that I have my team set up, right? My team makeup. So I have to focus on latin american players for the most part right now there has not been a single banner for that so i'm hoping that i do not have to go to the pity here just to get the sedane because well at, at bare minimum when another there's gonna be a brazilian banner most likely bare minimum i'm gonna have to have 270 dream balls to pull on one and hopefully there's a part two and there goes another 270 dream balls right there Hopefully they come with boost and hopefully one of them is red 
and usable and a defender for me because that would be probably my best uh the best thing that i could get or a green defender that would give me something better than that than that radunga that i have sitting there on my left side uh but i still have a lot of story to clear up so i'm not worried about my dream ball situation however it still does not mean that i want to go to the pity i do not want to go to the pity i do not want to go to the pity i do not want to go to the pity so hopefully i don't let me show you a little bit of how this one goes how far this one goes of course they always split the pool in half which is kind of nice so you have to just be you know selective as to where it is that you want to pull and right here you see so right here christensen natureza i already have as you saw uh so unfortunately on this side there are not too many cards that i would like i wouldn't mind the kazuo of the tachibana brothers to come along the way even this brian could revert i would not mind that even though the fake move shot would be outdated now at this point so i kind of wouldn't want him anymore uh let's see let's see anything here no no nah unfortunately nothing here dudes nothing here would be exciting at all to pull man that's terrible i already have zenzo but i don't need a money that needs to pass either uh not even for skills dude Oh man, not even for skills. So I'm not even excited to pull on this banner, man. Ugh. There's nothing really like cool that could come out that would excite me other than maybe Kazuo. Because I have my Sao. Maybe I can mess around with them or whatever. But nothing right here for me to get it ex to get excited about. I guess I gotta hope that I just get char uh, character cards for limit release purposes ability limit release ah oh, man i am not excited about pulling on this banner not excited about it at all that pool seems terrible to me dude this because a lot of the cards are like not usable for anything or i have almost all of them oddly enough oddly enough i have a lot of those already so anyway that's it for the analysis wish me luck if uh depending on how i am with dream balls i'll see if i decide to pull somewhere else i still i'm gonna pull on this one eventually i have time so i guess i shouldn't fret um and then this one too so my targets would be those natureza cards unfortunately i do not have a chance for the sdf natureza here but i might pull here in case like let's say i get sedane and this guy quick and then I get, you know, then maybe I'll try a cycle here just to, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm going to waste my dream balls, but whatever. You should still think about it. You should still think about it. But hopefully, hopefully I'm not in that position. But ah, anyway, we'll see. All in for Sedane. 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 Because I want that 3% to clubs right here. Uh, right here. 3% to club players. So it'll strengthen my natureza to make them stronger against Zeno Hernandez at the AM position and then we get the direct hotline there as well and he's a pain in the butt when it comes to matchups his stats are not bad either defensively I wish he was a little bit better but I don't know damn am I making a mistake then Maybe I could put Aoi as a defender then. I think Aoi's, Aoi's stats are better defensive-wise, right? Because right now I have Aoi at the AM. Yeah, he's better defending. All right. I guess I could just put moves the thing forward. I did not pull for him other than at the... When they offered him for the 30 pay dream balls, I pulled for him. I didn't get him there. Uh, but I did want him. I just didn't want to pull for him at the time. And I was hoping he would come featured. And here we go. 4,150 dream balls if it comes down to it hopefully not but wish me luck everybody wish me luck here we go here we go here we go i don't want to go too far please 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 give them to me quickly give them to me quick sedane i'm talking about sedane if you want to give me stijin stein whatever along the way key i could always use the red one and you know what man 
hold on i'm already getting to the pools and then i feel like i didn't actually do this justice right i don't think that i really actually analyzed this guy right i don't remember now that i think about it <laughs> his stats are nice yeah his stats are good that's cool right there i think because i was talking about complaining about the bond and all that stuff right so it comes with stealth defense that's what makes them interesting at forward or am to have stealth defense up ahead it's interesting yes you lose out on 10 percent boost if you don't have brian but his stats are already pretty pretty good even without him so he would naturally just like brian brian's pretty good on his own but with his brother he becomes better he becomes better he has auto intercept which is crazy with his stealth defense you know if you use if you're really good with manual defense you could probably definitely use this guy uh to your advantage i like that they did this for just forward and am teammates as opposed to uh making them what's it called as opposed to making them uh like oh only the netherlands players get the boost after receiving a pass i would have hated that i would have hated that you see that's the one that i'm talking about that assigns it to brian so that'll be useful if you get brian so you know what maybe i do want stein because <laughs> he also has a direct hotline so it would be nice to have him out there if i just need to boost up my my uh santana then this guy could come in and replace my Zeno. i'm sorry my hino ryoma hino for the heck of it and put him in there if i were to get a lead in the first half huh all right then i guess i do want both after all i do want both after all so hopefully right here is showing me gold so i think that means i'm getting one for the banner could it be stein could it be what's his face i don't know hopefully it does mean that it's one from the banner though because of the golden more than one all right obviously one is guaranteed all right so it is one from the banner Come on, let's get him quick here. Do I want Stein though then if I get what's his face right here? Well, I guess that's an afterthought now. <laughs> Damn, that would have been sick if I got him right here. Shh. Because, yeah, now I wouldn't mind Stein along the way, but I do want to get Sedane as the target. Sedane as a target. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna spam one. And I'm gonna sell two. Actually, you know what? Let me expand a little bit more. I expanded one. I'm gonna expand. Because I keep running into this issue lately. And I have not done a good job of. Uh, cleaning up my account because we've been getting an influx of SSR cards, right? We've been getting a lot of them through those daily guaranteed ones and stuff like that. Even though some of them have been kind of like trash and worthless, but I mean, they're taking up space in my inventory. Yeah, now. Okay. Uh. Here we go. So on the free one, so that's one cycle already. We're up to 40. Let's see. Does not look promising here. Of course not. Boo. Okay, SSR guaranteed. Come on now, please. Please. I don't know what that means, but it looks like it might be from the banner. More than one, please. Give me, three, give me, four. Give me all of them. Give me all of them right here. Everything. <laughs> Just Stein and, and Sedane, please. Just Stein and Sedane, please. <gasps> Not from the banner? What? What? I thought that meant I was getting one from the banner. Uh, what the heck is this guy? He sucks, right? I knew it. I knew it. Just a bunch of nothing, dude. Uh, man. I'm telling you, I was not excited to pull on this banner. Once I saw the pools, I was like, dude, there's like nothing on here that I'm looking forward to getting. If it's not featured, I'm not looking forward to it. 
man, and even the featured ones, you know. I'm okay with the fact that I got a Matsuyama dupe because the passing skill will come in handy. Uh, I will mine a Schneider dupe so that I could use the other one for BB-8 and to have the, I'm sorry, to to help me for ability limit release for a future Schneider that seems to be coming if I want to pull on it, though I don't think I'm gonna. But anyway, having that extra skill would be nice, I suppose. Even though it doesn't seem like I'm gonna want to be pulling on... It doesn't seem like I'm gonna wanna be, uh... It doesn't seem like I'm gonna wanna be forming a European squad anytime soon. And then that's the other thing too with the... Uh, I complained about this in my previous video that... Some other thing with the... Uh, with there being a Dreamfest Brian is that a lot of the European... The European player boost and stats and boost to the stats or whatever are primarily from like another Brian SSR card, dude. So like that's whack. This one the guaranteed one? This one's a guaranteed one. They're gonna be terrible, dude. <sighs> I knew it. 100 so far. What the heck? Are you serious right now? Oh, cause I didn't go to the SR. I didn't go to the SR uh, card transfer, huh? Let's go up to the free one, and then I will go to uh, do the. It's rainbow, right? So I think that means that I got him. Or oh, I got Stein at least. Okay. Maybe, right? You miss Sedane as well, please. And if not, well, he's going to the pity for Sedane. It's not going to be bad if I did get Stein right here. Hopefully. Oh. Give me both right here, man. Come on. Give me both right here. 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 Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Bro! Look at that! Look at that! Man! What the? <laughs> Don't do this to me two times in a row! Don't do this to me two times in a row, dude! Don't mess with me like that. Alright. All right, at least we got that one too. We got ourselves a sign. 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 All right, cool. Now, please, still, I'm asking you. I do not want to pity Sedane. Please. Huh? I think I could use him. Wasn't there like a challenge role that required him? Hmm. Nah. Hmm. At 120 to get the feature. Okay. Oh yeah. Huh? Well, at this point, I just need one. Uh, no, I don't want to keep using my dream boss to increase my space. Not too much, at least. I gotta go and clear up my account after this. I need the main two loops. I need to maintain my account here. Okay. So let's go here. Let's make some space. Nah. Again, Sedane was the target, so having pulled the featured new one along the way was awesome. However, if I had pulled Sedane, I would not have continued first time. So, I still don't want it to be that I have to pity Sedane, please. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But hopefully, that is not what happens. But at least it hurts a little less knowing that I got the featured one along the way and that I could actually use them in my team. So now with the greatest of boosts, I have to like readjust my team a little bit, move some things around and use the the red Brian that gives a uh, 5% boost to 5% boost to uh, red European players. Mm. The 6% is showing right now, maybe. But do I get a little... No, 
too. But there's nothing to be excited about beyond the future, remember? Unfortunately. So, I mean, I guess I'll take uh, that Natureza dupe that I have for the, I mean, for the Madrid because I still need to bring them up to, I think this one was a guaranteed one. I still need to bring them up to BB-8, uh, maybe having an extra one for the skill, why not? But again, if it's not featured, it's not too exciting. But at least give me some then that are going to help me with ability limit release, please, then, right? No, well, that Rivaul might be useful for that, but that Goza? Nah. For anything, nothing at all. Nothing at all. For nothing at all. Because currently there is no Goza that is worth using. So, will not be useful for ability limit release whatsoever. 150 right now. Uh, does that mean it's from the banner? Well, at least it means we're getting an SSR. Okay. From the banner though, please. From the banner though, please. Damn it. What a joke. What a joke. 160 SP so far. 160 SP. Would have been nice if Stein was the only one I was looking for, right? But nah, man, I want that Sedain. I do want that Sedain. Hook me up, game. Come on. All right. Last time I thought it was guaranteed that it was from the banner, but then it turns out that that wasn't the case. Okay. Please. From the banner, at least one. At least. Okay. Thank you. Come on, Sergeant. Come on. Right here. Please, 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 Thank you for not making me go to the pity, dude. 180 now let me see one more time until a free transfer mm, except that this transfer is not cute i got everything in the banner so that's nice i got me two extra carl heinz schneiders um definitely gonna want them this one right here and then the one for sedan oh you see that was 50 so i made it up to 180 180 to pull both of these guys 180 let me go right here uh, i feel like i might as well right if i pull 50 then i get the free one and then that's gonna give me the extra ones that i get just for some free for some free medals right here so i guess i'm gonna sacrifice 50 more dream balls just for the fact that i get to uh collect more ability oh, but no, do i want those 50 dream balls instead mm, let me see my matsuyama and uh schneider situation because if i don't really need um if i don't really need um Hold on, let me lock these bad boys up first. New Shroud, screw it up. Where was that one? And where's the home yet? Okay, there he is. Okay, there goes that. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, I'm looking for. No, let me do Schneider first. Because he's primarily a forward. So. Uh, no, no, by recent, by name. Okay. So where my Schneider is at? Alright. So. You see the thing with this one here is that this one oh well at one point this was the strongest one but not anymore 539 
and now we have this one at right 555 for 510 mm, 555 for 510 this one oh 539 for 425 i like that one because it's a lot less stamina a lot less significantly less um i think i have enough variety of sniders that if I need to, and then I have this one. That if I need to bring on, I have another one right there. And I can use several one of these two. Oh, now that I got this one right here, then I could add them to this. So I have another one. And if I wanted to use singles, right? I have plenty to select from. So I think I have enough where I don't necessarily need to get another Schneider what's it called ability limit release tokens i think i'd much rather keep the 50 dream balls then right, let's see matsuyama where are you at matsu uh, did i pass them already or what? no there you go okay so for my matsuyama situation oh wow i got a whole bunch of them this one doesn't need to be a BB-8, so I have an extra one for the skill, and then an extra one that I could sacrifice for uh, ability limit release, should the time ever come. I don't have, okay, well I have enough to like, let's say one of these, and then one of these, and then another one right here. Ah, okay. So I have several to select from. And the thing is that whenever it comes to like uh, Matsuyama, this one because it's old, so that's why I had them there. But most Matsuyamas will only need up to right there to BB6. So technically, I have enough for like one Matsuyama, two Matsuyama, three Matsuyama if I want to. Okay. So I don't need to pull there. I will save my 50 Dream Balls. Thank you very much. Um. Mm, let's see. And since I pulled this one, do I want to try? Since I wanted to try at least one rotation on one of these. The thing with this one is that I don't have any of these guys. Well, I have Gentile, but I could bring them up to. A, uh, I could bring them up a little bit higher. I don't remember what the pool looks like here. Oh, a dream collection characters. So I would like a few from there. Uh, Brian, like I said, you know a lot of these cards I already have. But then what if I get that Natureza? I don't think so. Uh, and this one without any boost to European players. I mean, they're just very powerful, I guess. We're like with raw power alone, they would be able to defeat you. But nah, nah, I don't necessarily need them. Just because I got Stein. Nah, and Stein, I only have one specific purpose that I'm going to want out of him. And he won't have access to a 1-2 because he would need his brother. Of course. Oh, yeah, well, if I'm going to bring in the... If I'm going to bring in the brother, that's right, huh? So, yeah, no, I don't want this guy because I'd rather boost up Stein uh, with the other. Watch, where is he at? Uh, where is he at? Mm. You know what? It'd be faster if I did to the player database watch watch this is the one i'm talking about and he's just a regular transfer card so you don't have to go crazy uh in terms of like maybe not being able to get him because he's not necessarily exclusive no well, he's not exclusive at all like, what am i saying necessarily so this one uh, is it this one Konnichiwa. You see, and even, even then, this one is very specific. It has to be toughness type European players, which in this case is not too bad for me because Stein would be the only toughness type European player that I would be playing if I bring in this, uh, when I bring in this Brian, you know, so it's not a big deal. So I think I'm going to do one cycle for the heck of it on this one because i could use a backup goalie in case i get lucky 
Um, and the other Japanese players, well, if they pop out, either one of them I could use. So that would be nice to get to see what kind of Japanese team I can build. Or in case there comes a time where like that Hyuga that I pulled for becomes necessary, then maybe I will have another card to be able to boost up Japanese players even further. But for the time being, uh, 150 Dream Balls is not too much to give up right here. I think it's okay, but at the same time, considering that there's still more stuff to come, I don't even know that I should bother pulling 150 Dream Balls right here. You know what? So I'm not going to do that. Let me hold on. If I do decide to pull at least one cycle from right here, well, I have days to decide. Why am I rushing, right? Let me see how many more Dream Balls I'll gather from there. I still have a lot of story to clear up. I've only cleared up one full chapter. So I still have three more that are available. So once I do that, then we'll see how much I gather. And then within, then I'll decide if I pull at least one cycle on that or not. But for now, then that will be the end of the video. Awesome. So we were successful in our pulls. We got the two players that we want. Well, one that we really, really wanted and the other one that's nice to have. So it's really cool that we did end up getting them. I already locked them up. So I don't think I need to do anything else here. So we're good to go. I'm ready to say goodbye. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know that this one lately they've been pretty long uh from the recordings that i used to do which i remember used to be like about 20 minutes long or something like that now they seem to be ranging up to like 50 minutes to an hour which is kind of trippy how much i talk you know <laughs> but anyway thank you guys so much i hope you made it to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope i hope you found it useful and i hope that you continue to come back for the seldom times that i am posting up content and that uh that they do continue to uh provided with some insight that's hopefully uh useful to you so until then let's continue to practice kindness please let's continue to practice kindness people i know it's hard but we got to continue to practice it that's how we're going to get better at it let's be respectful let's be responsible let's be safe take care of yourselves and each other with much love and with peace till the next video